It's a bit of the old and a bit of the new as we head to the British Grand Prix. Welcome to this video and here I'm going to give a preview for the races that we're going to have for the F1 weekend at Silverstone. And I say races, yes, we're going to have two F1 rounds. In addition to having the likes of W Series and other sporting series at the Grand Prix, uh, we are going to see the first of what should be three sprint races where, well, I, I'll... I'll I'll link below, if I get the time to, I'll link below the races video, it's about 10 minutes long to talk about it, but essentially the gist of it is they qualify Friday afternoon for the sprint race that's, I think, 100 kilometer, and it's free choice of tyres, as it will be for the race itself on Sunday, and this will be late Saturday afternoon. And let's see what happens with that, because he'll decide the starting order as well as There'll be, what, six points doled out? Three, two, one for first, second, third. So, yeah, it's going to be something to look forward to over this weekend. In addition to that, it is back up to full capacity. That's right, Silverstone is completely sold out and everybody's going to be able to get in for the weekend. So, we're going to be seeing fans back at the grandstand. And no matter what you think about it, no matter what you think about, like, lockdown restrictions and so on here in the UK... After having seen the kind of how full the, the the Wembley was for the Euros, just the idea of having a full capacity Silverstone is pretty cool. Whether or not the execution, or whether or not you think it's right to have something full capacity, is another question. But for me, um, just the idea of having it get to a point where we can have a full capacity Silverstone is pretty cool. And actually. My Grand Prix coverage is going to be a bit sparse this weekend, as will my WRC coverage. Because this is likely happening, this video, as I drive to, well, Silverstone. I'm going to be um, doing some work over the weekend with F1, and I couldn't be more excited. I'm sitting here right now as I've packed up more or less everything. The last two things that need to be packed are the rest of my laptop and my microphone. And then I'll be headed off. Nervous, but definitely excited. And there'll definitely be some content coming from it. <laughs> I I really look forward to this because it's so much... It's going to be a historic moment. 71st British Grand Prix. First sprint race. Could we see what happened last year with tyre deck being a major factor? We easily could, and who that's going to impact, it's not exactly clear. It's the last race before the new pit stop regulations come in. And will we see Mercedes manage to get one over on Red Bull for the first time in, what, six races? Or will Red Bull be able to, like they did with the second part of the British Grand Prix, the 70th anniversary race last season, be able to one-up Merck and get the win? We'll have to wait to see on track. I hope you've enjoyed some F1 2021 gameplay in the background. It's the first time I think I'm using that for a video. But yeah, I hope to see you around. Bye-bye for now.